So I think about the fourth quarter, October, November, December, and I, I go back into my mind of my real estate days. I was a, a, a top producing realtor, um, and this was always my advantage. I always look for these little pieces um, that I can hold on to as an individual that were my advantages. Um, I always think about um, what's that, that, that video game combat or Mortal Kombat and it's like back, back, A, B, and it's like, brrr, you know what I mean? Like I think about what are my, and, and for those who don't, you didn't play that game, I apologize, but that's what I think about is like that was, there was all these little hidden moves you can do that would actually give that was their advantage. Um, uppercuts and all sorts of things in this video game. But So I think about when I'm a realtor, what my advantage was. My advantage was I was willing to put in twice as much work in October, November, and December for two reasons. One, it was when I use the bear analogy of it's when most realtors would go and hibernate. They would go into cocoon mode and relax and they would almost dismiss the rest of the year. And I understand, right? As a realtor, you deal with things every 30 to 45 days unless it's a cash deal right away. But in the middle of November, you pretty much know what you're gonna close for the rest of the year unless someone wants to buy something cash and put it under contract really quickly. But what I did was I managed my pipeline of deals in escrow. But what I really did was I, I doubled and in some cases tripled my efforts on my proactive reach outs to my clients. And so when most agents would be thinking about holidays with their family, which is great, and I did that as well, I doubled down on what I could do. The best time to reach out to, to, to people as a realtor is during the holidays, everyone's happy, right? You have a reason to reach out. You can pop by their house and give them an item of value, whether it be a bottle of, of, of sparkling you know, cider, all the way to pumpkins for pumpkin patch. I mean, you, you name it, you could think of several different little things to, 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 to drop by your client's house. And I tripled those efforts because I wanted to have a fantastic new year. I wanted to set everything up. I knew that every effort I put forward and put forth in October, November, December as a realtor would pay off the following year. And so I always had a killer Q1 in my real estate career. Now, I think about that and I think about, okay, let's transition to Tyler Smith, Smith Premier Properties Inc., Realtor to Tyler, CEO of Skyslope. Very different because I can't put effort in and work 12, 14 hour days knowing it's gonna set up my new year. But what I can do is I can equip my leaders, the people who report to me, my executives, with where we're going on our vision, right? how their department and roles directly impact the things that lead there and what's the most important high level items we need to focus on next year. Um, and so right now we're in budget planning. Um, we're also in our, our roadmap planning. We're also in our strategic strategy planning. Um, I'm spending a lot of time with Buck, who's our VP of, uh, of product and going through on a product standpoint, what do we deliver? What do we develop? Let's look at the data. What, where do we win? Where do we lose? We're looking at win versus um, close loss ratios and sales. Which ones did we lose? Why did we lose them? Do they directly reflect on a data standpoint of the products that we plan on shipping next year? And if they don't, we have to have a very big decision and, and debate and discussion on why we're building these things. Um, and so right now it's planning so we could be the best set up for next year. Um, and it's work, but it's a lot of behind the scenes of, of strategy strategy whiteboarding, we're doing a, 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 an all hands, um, a leadership retreat, uh, I think next week on Wednesday in, in, in Lodi and offsite. And we're going through every initiative for next year. So that way, when that year hits January, 2020, the first week back, which I believe is the sixth or the seventh, we're like heads down. We're all focused. We know exactly what we're doing. We know exactly where we're going and we know how to lead our team in the right direction. And so I think about, do you hibernate? And most people do. Here at Skyslope, the leaders, myself, absolutely not our team members, we gotta get everything to the finish line, which is the end of the year. And we have to have the best set up for 2020. So January comes back, we come back from vacation and it's just straight, everyone knows what they're doing, they know the, the line that they're, they're, they're marching towards and we're executing. We're not just thinking, we're executing on the plan that we set forth today. <laughs>